Hello everyone, Mike Wilson, joined here by Adam Sparks, both as always of Knox News and Goval's Extra. We're here at Neon Stadium where Tennessee thoroughly walloped UT Martin today, as expected, 65 to 24. Adam, initial thoughts. I mean, starters really only played the first half and Tennessee was pretty dominant, obviously, in that stretch. Yeah, I thought coming off of the Alabama game, it was important that just everything was still in its place. Sometimes you can you can have a big win like the Alabama game and then sort of come down and get out of sorts in a game like this, and nothing was out of place. Uh, Hinton Hooker was efficient. The offense was aggressive and efficient. I thought that was good. They didn't pull back just because they were playing an FCS team. Uh, Jalen Hyatt looked great. All the receiving core looked good. Uh, Play calling looked like what it did before. I think that's another thing you can get too vanilla sometimes in games like this. That was not the case at all. I mean, Princeton fan threw a touchdown pass. Great so, pass. Under yeah, pressure. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, Impressive throw. There was nothing vanilla about this approach, and I think that's really what you need to sort of keep momentum going because mm -hmm. I think sometimes these can be trap games in their own way, and it certainly wasn't because in the first half when we saw this team, it looked like they were emotionally invested in the game, and that's important because – Games are coming when they're going to have to be, you know, in that state of mind as well. Speaking of Jalen Hyatt, what do we make of the season he's having? Another pair of touchdowns today. You got kind of the six quarters between Alabama and the first half today. I believe he had seven touchdowns, 12 on the season, one shy of the Tennessee record. Should he be in that conversation for, for national awards at this point? Yeah, I mean, he was added to the Bolitnikoff mm -hmm. uh, Award this past week. This is one of those things they have a watch list of what who they think they'll be on it. Cedric Tillman was on it, obviously, and then at midseason they'll add other people, and he's been added. He came into today's game leading the country, I believe, in touchdown receptions. He had two more today, so he's got 12, one off the Tennessee record. Um, I mean, I'm a Bolitnikoff voter. I, you know, he would be on my he would be in my top – three, top five, I forget how it is, but he, I mean, right now he's in line to be a finalist for that award. Mm -hmm. um, I think he, right now he's in the conversation for first team All-American. It's a lot of football to play, but we talk about Hendon Hooker and the national stuff. It's Jalen Hyatt is, is right there with mm -hmm. him, I think, and that's a, it's not a huge shock because of his ability, but the fact that so much was built up with Cedric Tillman, it's a pretty big surprise that they've their next receiver is now maybe the best in the country. If I'm not mistaken, 12 of Henry Hooker's 18 touchdowns have gone to Hyatt this Ooh. season. So it's on the uh, math on the fly, so we can't be oh, yeah, wait, 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 are you are you are you putting Hyatt then in the Heisman talk? Is that what you're doing? If we're talking national <laughs> awards, his stats, we looked at that earlier. Devontae Smith won the Heisman a couple years back, and the, the stats for Jalen Hyatt aren't off that pace okay. terribly. But the problem is you've got the quarterback and wide receiver. Right, right. Who, who gets in, in that conversation we'll more. Settle it, we'll settle it with the Georgia game. Yeah, there we go. If still, every still touchdown time. pass is to Jalen Hyatt in that game and Tennessee wins, then you swap them, then Hyatt's the Heisman mm -hmm. candidate. If Jalen Hyatt wins the Heisman, you heard it here first. This is what we're <laughs> going right, to go with. That's right. Tennessee now has the back half of SEC play, starting off with Kentucky here next week at Neyland Stadium. What do you look for for Tennessee? How do they, they finish what they've started this season? Well, I mean, they just have to keep their identity going. Um, every game that they've been in so far, SEC game, they have felt like the aggressor. Mm -hmm. LSU was going for it on fourth down in dumb situations. Uh, Florida, the same thing, go for it on fourth down. Alabama was forced in ways that I thought looked outside their comfort zone. So each of these games, Tennessee has gone in with the opponent thinking Tennessee's a problem, what they do is a problem. We've got to counter that rather than play their own game. Yeah, I think Kentucky probably comes in with the same way, and if that's the case, then Tennessee's already already up in that game because they're, they're sort of dictating the type of game it is. So that'll be important for Tennessee to be aggressive again next week just like they were uh this week and i mean it all kind of goes up to the georgia game but i mean the kentucky game is a pretty big game that's a top 25 team that's a good team a couple things go one way or the other kentucky could be you know undefeated so you don't want to say a top 25 team is a trap game for you but tennessee's so good this year that kentucky could look like a trap game they can't they can't handle it that way Stay tuned to Knox News and Go Vols Extra for all the latest on the UT Martin blowout, the Kentucky game, and the Georgia game soon after that.